All right, kids, vacation time's over. It's time to go to Dispel Manor for part three of Donald Duck going quackers. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Of course, okay. a proper change of attire is required. Now, shirts, now, shoes. Oh, now wait, stop he's not sucking wearing me. Service. <laughs> <laughs> he can't where I was going oh, at. Of course, I do. Oh, wait, I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> Actually, funny. Funny we mentioned the no shoes, no service policy, considering that was like one of the very first shorts ever produced. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Was it? Yeah, it was. No service. Wow. The one where Goofy was literally I'm running. I'm trying to run a fancy establishment here. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. are the dogs. Na in Magic of Dispels Manor, the spooky themed world of the game. Hooray. And already we're off to a good start with uh, with um, with uh, metal arms with um, ha with um, axes on the walls, uh, bare bare skin rugs with spikes on them, bone stairs, bone and, oh, and Frank Frank and Duck? Frank and Duck's Frank and Duck's monster. Mommy, Frank and Stein. Oh, oh, Frank and Duck you're right, you're was, right. A Frank and Duck that was severely underwhelming when we yelled at it. Oh, 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 and do we, oh, do we mention the Invisible Man oh. and my favorite okay, character, Man. and my favorite character, Duck Riding Wheelchair, who's really pissed? <laughs> <laughs> That's not Jack spooky. Oh yeah, the grandma with the. That's not axe. scary at all. He's he's just mad. He's like, why am I here? There's Magic no wheelchair accessibility ramps. Magica didn't pay him enough. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, it's funny you mentioned, funny you saying that though, because I actually remember um, as of this recording, I actually have play, gotten quite a bit into, like, the uh, portable versions of Donald Duck Gold Quackers, and uh, I know for the GBA version in particular, they actually did make the, uh, the, the hat, the absor- oh, oh, hey, oh, What was that? Oh, really now shot. we're really mad. We're all mad here. We were such in a good mood, is really, that gonna go? Really mad. Whoa, wolves from the paintings. But yeah, as I was about to say before, the sword, the sword wielding grannies and wheelchairs do look a bit scarier in those in, <laughs> in this game. For some odd reason. Yeah, they just look like someone from the veterans hospital who got loose. <laughs> I'm good, loose and go, mm. going quackers. Now, spiky bears are weird. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. So, uh, now, would you say this place is def Would you say this place is harder than Duckburg? A bit harder, but not by much. Okay, there we go. Like I was saying, some of the platforms looked a little tighter. Like, yeah, it, it, it does. Is, it is a bit tighter, but nothing that you, nothing that you can't really um, ma manage. Okay. Like, like I said before, like Oop. the difficulty curve in this game is actually not that big at all. Hmm. It's like playing a, a, like I like I'll say for like the oh. third time, it's like playing Crash Bandicoot with the difficulty of a Kirby game. Okay. Uh, guys, bad news. What, what happened? happened? What's up? Um, I'm not sure if I'll lose power, but we're now entering a thunderstorm. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Oh, thank you for well, the warning. Well, How appropriate, yeah. considering they're location now. <laughs> it's following. But yeah, no, just... Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard that boom in the background. Well, thunder. Well, well, fortunately, if you lost power, it wouldn't, I like, didn't. crash your entire computer. It would just take off the battery so you could save whatever audio happens. Yeah, and, and don't forget, it'll take away my internet, too. So. Right, that's well, what I'm saying. Like, whenever yeah. that does happen, be sure to save your audio so we yeah, don't lose, lose about but a also, couple. But also stay safe and stay away from Windows if it gets bad. Like, Is it like yeah, high please. winds or just rain? Oh, of course. I'm not sure yet. It's, oh. uh, all it is I can hear now is just ah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's So that's what happens if you go, so that's what happens oh. if you go nuts with the button. Mm -hmm. Just go, keep going and hope, hope, hope you'll get something. And what am I doing? This I need my sugar rush. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing to admit, shit. but I'm a freaking Pichu, and I'm afraid of thunder. Aww. Aww. The, the Pichu hurts itself with thunder. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. Come yeah, exactly. on. There you know we what? go. The cow reminds me of oh, Tales in the OVA. <laughs> I'm sure I still I still do at least a few more um, special moves we haven't seen yet, but again, like, I usually don't commit all these combinations to memory, because it's like... Also, I noticed you're not going for golden threads, because I just saw two areas that you totally could have used the golden thread uh, attack to go for. I think I think the, I think my um, whole shtick here is that, like, this whole oh. place is, like, cluttered with shit, so it's like, it's kind of hard to tell what's breakable and what's not. That yeah. is true. I mean, I would, I would honestly just say Dispel Manor is the worst with that, compared to okay. everywhere else. Fair enough. But yeah, otherwise, it's really nothing. It's really not Ooh. much more different from your usual, um, from usual level tropes aside from all the spookiness. 
I wonder who did the music for these levels, because they're quite good. Um, let me check on that, because I know, um, there was actually, like, two or three composers that worked on um, Dumb Duck Going Quackers throughout all of its, um, uh, iterations. Hmm. Let me check on that real quick. In the meantime, mm -hmm. enjoy all the kookiness. Doing good, honey? Yeah, I'm doing good. Just watching. How are you doing, Sealy? I'm doing good. Okay, I'm so... I'm nervous about this thunder. Aww. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Apparently, the ver like um, the PS1, PS2, GameCube, so on versions were composed by one Sean K. Clement. Oh, I, feel like okay. Clement I feel like the Clement is familiar. Well, I know at least a few people that are named Clement, and um, I know the other versions, like the N64, PC, Dreamcast, and so on, were composed by one Daniel Mason, who actually, whose soundtrack isn't quite as <laughs> ep like epic and bombastic as this, but it has its nice, it has its nice um, tone to it. I'll, t I'll, it? To sh I'll to show you guys later. Oh, no, I didn't hear it. Sorry. No, it just happened again. I wasn't sure you guys heard that. Aww. Honestly, honestly, Seely, for all we know, it may as well have just been atmosphere for the game itself. <laughs> True that. Okay, well, this have, this could be a bit. I tricky. have one earbud out, or so I know it's coming from outside. And there I oh that's right because I'm not even hyped up with orange juice. So I couldn't have any. I couldn't do anything about that even if I wanted to. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. I I will say though, I, I was able to at least unlock most except for one costume. I don't remember which one it is though. So now, now so that so this one similar to World 2 only has four areas. Uh three areas. Three areas, huh? Yeah, the only the only worlds that have four areas are the first and the fourth one. So oh, I think the I think the I think the elusive fifth one as well, but back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, hide. Yeah, just, yeah. just going back to costumes. Um, hmm. Just going back to costumes. Oh, I'm going easy. to assume they're probably the same as in the N64 version, unless this version added new ones. Because off the bat, the N64 version had we saw the vacation outfit. It had a top hat and suit outfit. It had a sleepy time outfit, which I think you do get from Magica, and then an explorer's outfit. Okay then, yeah. Uh, most of most of the costumes here are exclusive to uh, this version. Okay. I think the only one that does return is obviously the vacation outfit. Nope. Makes sense. Hmm. Oh, goody! Oh, that, that was. Oh, that, that happened. Was, that scared. That kind of scared me for a moment. I, what? I yep. the music just suddenly stopped. And I'm like, wait, did it crash on me? Oh no, that was part oh. of the game. Um. Oh yeah. By the way, um, out of all the places. Oh, okay. Out of all the places I expect to find Murloc's creepy, creepy hand of chasiness, this is the only world that doesn't feature him. Wait, what? Yeah, it Seriously? Seems it would have been perfect. Yeah, hmm. like it doesn't—it doesn't appear here at all. Well, what chases you here? Uh, nothing. nothing. This is actually the final level of the area. Interesting. It just sort of happens, I guess. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I don't get it either, but I guess, as far as I'm concerned, maybe jump, they were just pressed for time. Jump, jump, that jump. would make sense. Yeah. Considering, like, again, they've made like. God knows how many versions of this game that each have their own level design Ooh. and quirks and everything. Or excuse me, quacks. Quacks. <laughs> do, 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 do. Again, I still can't get enough enough of that booty hey, Logan, Do the jingle. Booty licious duck, duck shake. <laughs> and now for the ba there you go. The buck Logan, basket. The jingle. Battle. What jingle? Da -da -da. Oh, da -da -da. the rainbow. The re <laughs> I know like five different jingles. You need to tell me the reading rainbow one. <laughs> you know, I'd say my word for it. Oh, there's the thunder, or no, the lightning. Sorry. Oh, okay. So it wasn't that wasn't from the game itself. Or was nah. it? right. No, Easy. I was talking about oh, the geez. game. Oh, okay then. It's, it's, it's lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. hmm. <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. Sorry, please. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't have much left of this of this area. Like again, <laughs> like the like the middle of the world's. Don't, the middle parts are easily going to be the shortest, just because there's not much fluff in between. Okay. Fluff. And of course, and of course, we got the bats with the sonars that are always pricks. <laughs> of course. Kind of. Yeah, that's of course we didn't bring them speaking up of sooner. sonars, I forgot that one of. I was about to say, speaking of sonar, I almost forgot that when you're mm -hmm. hopped up on orange juice, I forgot that one of the attacks in Donald's combo is him literally just yelling. That's what I, I've been doing that for <laughs> this entire game, dude. How can you forget that, that? that? That's been his main attack for destroying all of the. Blockades and stuff. Oh god. Uh oh. Careful. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Yeah, not much pizzazz there, unfortunately. Well, to be fair, it's like from the side was the first time I was able to get like a good glance at it, and it just kind of reminds me of how like in Sonic Riders, I don't know if Zero Gravity keeps it, but in Sonic Riders, some of the character attacks, like when they're at certain levels, some of the character attacks are just basically yelling at you. Like Knuckles, he just roars like he's a devil damn lion. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to say that's only in the uh, first Riders, but I think, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the second one had it. It's just that I never did like how they changed the um, method of literally attacking your opponents in that game, where it's pretty much an, it's an item now as opposed to being like an a yeah, natural same. attack. Yeah, true. It's just, it's mm -hmm. dumb. I think Again, I remember zero. with Sil <laughs> not Silver. I remember with Jet, he just sneezes. <laughs> Fucker. Dilt, dilt. But, um, Oh, and actually, I just got all the super moves in this area. So now they've un wow. they're letting us try out the super moves challenges. That was loud. So, how, so how do you normally get it again? You have to you have to unlock every special move in in an area, and then once you go inside, you'll find an icon that displays their face on it. Once that once you um, touch it, then you'll get to, you'll instigate the challenge, and all you have to do is um, do two special moves that the game will tell you to do. Okay. It's honestly, honestly, the, honestly, the only hard part is just finding finding three three enemies to bounce on in in succession in order to activate it. That's actually and actually, yeah, I've, I forgot to mention that. That's how you activate special moves. You have to bounce on three enemies in a row. And oh yeah, I think you told us that part. But so it's almost like a puzzle then to find where is the best situation to do that. Right. Oh yeah, and you get a cool coin for your troubles. Not really. <laughs> because you know this is just this is just uh, past the. 90s dude era. If you do it all uh, right, yes. Donald, you get a sponsorship deal from the Orange Juice Company. Oh boy! Oh boy! I thought I already <coughs> did. I don't know why this is all about sponsorships either. So with that said, we we broke into Spell's Manor. Now let's go kick her butt. All Please. Right. Oh, that's Magica. right. Magica. Where hello. are you? Okay. You're not Magica. Oh, and hello, Glum. Hey, Donald. Yeah. I took over this place. No, you wish you took over this place. So. Wow. Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> Surprise that thing held for so long. How many Jeez. nipples is he gonna find in this devil damn game? He finds one pretty much every time. Wait. Did you just call me a chicken? I think. I think that's the only time in any version of the game where they make any reference to Scrooge. Yeah. Which is what's well, good because they should. He that she like Scrooge is her arch nemesis. Yeah. Oh, geez. In Ducktales, anyway. Whoop. Well, actually, yeah. He, she's pretty much she's pretty much an enemy to him in both versions. But I think Don she's she's got some sort of hatred towards Donald in the comics as well. But yeah. That makes For what? sense, yeah. In, in, in Scrooge, she wanted his fortune. What does she want, what does she want with Donald? Uh, I don't know. Donald just gets in the way of everything? Well, I think it's just a matter of she just hates him because of his relations with Scrooge. Yeah. That could it, be it. Any any relative of Scrooge is an enemy of, of me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to try with her. Also, I'm loving how we're not even really attacking her. The whole point of this boss fight is more just to survive the onslaught. Basically, and then once she lets out her skull, the skull moves. Then you gotta pretty much bash into one of them, just as she's floating on top of them, and the skull will hit her accordingly. Oh, you, oh, 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 wait. So we are actually hurting her. Yeah, we're hurting her. Oh yeah. And by the way, um, if you if you try to actually attack her yourself, she has a force field, so you'll t oh. be the one taking the damage instead of her. Okay, so it's the skulls. Okay, I, I didn't notice that at first. Oh uh, yeah. By the way, one one act. Ow! There was actually Whoops. one 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 time I actually fought the spell in this boss fight. I literally stood in one place for a good chunk of this uh, sequence here, and I didn't get hit at all. And Donald was just standing there, wait, just impatient as ever. Just so wondering. when did the attack start? And Magic was like, mm. yeah. Like, oh, also, look at that. Also, I actually now. There it just, goes. Uh, also, I just remembered something. Um, good time, good time. Ah. Nice. Oh, perfect. Ah. Oh, there you go. You couldn't ask wow. for better timing. Do any of the... Oh. And this is such weird... This is such bombastic music for the sequence. So these camera angles. Okay, we're done. Oh, oh no, no, not yet. No, no, no. She's now we're going. done. 
Uh, where are we asking, Logan? Don't ask how that goes to the roof. Uh, and uh, well, I'll, it's probably a better. It's probably a question better saved for the actual like classic lookouts. So I was gonna say like, where, do any of the bosses slash areas change between the different versions of the game? Uh, between the console versions, no. Uh, the portable versions, though, they do change a, change a bit, uh, some stuff here and there. Okay. Alrighty, wow, we're already on the finale of this thing soon, the cusp mm -hmm. of it. Mm hmm. Now yeah. we're on. Now we're on the road to Murloc's temple. That time. <laughs> That's so it. take it take it away, Jaro. My machine already has a lot of power, but if you can find and put the last gamma weather vein at the center of Murloc's temple, it'll be even stronger. Wait, well, why we need to do that? We're I already going we were to, to power temple. The machine to get to Murloc's temple. Right. That, that I'm, I'm agreeing with hype here. Like I was about to say, the whole purpose of this, he told me, was to go. We wanted to teleport ourselves into Murloc's hideout. But now we're being told, all right, good going. Now, in order to teleport into Murloc's hideout, all I need you to do is put this weather vane in Murloc's... Oh! <laughs> you know what? In hindsight, this wasn't really a good idea. What are we even kidding ourselves for? <laughs> well, at the very least, the way to Murloc's temple is open, so, uh... Till next time, everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Stay tuned for the finale. What has my intellect been wasted on? <laughs>